All right, well, I'm getting ready to head out uh, tomorrow for the big trip, and I thought I would quickly go through just what I've got in the pack for my Great Smoky Mountain National Park five-day, four-night trip. Um, this is the gear I'll be taking, and then I've got uh, uh, the clothing upstairs of what I'll be wearing um, on trail. So head out tomorrow, um, drive all the way down there, get on trail the first night. This is this is what I'll have. So. Got my trekking poles, uh, black diamonds. I've got um, the light AF. Um, this is just the fanny pack, um, which I use for uh, camera gear. Um, the pack, I've got uh, the Z Packs Arc Hall, uh, 55 liter pack. Um, we'll go through the what's on the outside. I have my. Uh, medium tripod that I'll bring with me uh, with my camera gear. I've got uh, my Garmin InReach Mini. I've got my um, smart water bottle. I've got my cook kit and this has um, my BRS, my canister, um, my mini deck, and a little scrubby and a pot holder. Um, in my pockets, I'll typically have one pocket that'll be snacks. Um, so this is the first day's worth of snacks that I'll start off with. And in the other, I've got a compass, um, my wool buff, and my Nightcore uh, NU25. Uh, on the other shoulder, I've got um, right now, is uh, my GoPro Hero 5 um, on tripod. And um, I've also got the capture clip, so if I wanna bring uh, the other camera out, I can mount it there. Um, on the other side, I've got my Z-Pax umbrella. I've got my one liter Be Free. I've got, this is a 650 mil, um, for my drink mixes and um, just extra water storage. I've got um, my poop kit, which is my trowel, and my TP, which I'm gonna grab a little bit more TP, and my hand sanitizer uh, in there. Um, just a little uh, towel that I can um, use it is my Hoosier Hiker uh, purple bandana. On the back, I've got my uh, z -Packs, no, this is my, uh, sorry, Arc'teryx uh, Zeta um, jacket. And in uh, the pockets, I've got wool glove liners and um, Gore-Tex, just uh, lightweight mittens, um, waterproof covers for um, my gloves. I've got my permit and I've got a map of the park. I've got uh, my suspension straps, um, the beetle buckles um, and carabiner spider straps. And I have, this is just a poly cryo sheet for my ground cloth. Um, I have my Helinox. Uh, chair Zero in my uh, Hilltop Hacks um, Dyneema uh, cover. And that is everything on the outside. So let's dive in inside. I've got on the top just my Mont Bell um, Versalite pants. Uh, use them as kind of windbreak pants, uh, but also uh, rain pants uh, if needed. I've got um, my electronics bag, which just has uh, my large anchor battery and a few uh, backup uh, camera batteries uh, in there. I've got my tarp, my stake sack, um, and Ridgeline is all in here. Um, this is the hammock gear 
um, DCF tarp with doors. Um, that will be my rain cover. I've got, this is actually my, my food kit. I tried to get this as compact as I could. Um, I'm just over four pounds if you add in all of the weight, uh, but I think um, this pack is right at four pounds, maybe slightly under. Um, if you add the snacks, I go over four pounds, 4.1 pounds, something like that. I've got my Sea to Summit Eros large inflatable pillow. got my Dutchware Chameleon. Um, this is the standard uh, Hexon 1.6, so heavier material. I'm not going to bring the Cloud 71 on this trip just because the temperature is going to be a little cooler and it's going to be super windy, so I want a little bit more wind protection. This is a little less um, breathable, permeable, um, and it's warmer. Um, and I've got the winter top cover on top to provide just a little bit of extra warmth. Um, this is my clothing bag. I've got um, my down puffy is on top, and then I've got um, my Smart Wool 150s top and bottom, and then I've got a pair of uh, boxers and a pair of Darn Tough socks, and that's my backup clothes in uh, the Hilltop uh, Packs uh, dry bag got my little ditty bag. This is just a granite gear uh, bag. It's got a little first aid kit, um, Luco tape, um, some gauze, some Neosporin, um, some Advil Aleve, um, one um, packet of Picardin um, in case the bugs are bad. I'm not expecting that. And then a few band-aids. So pretty simple. I've got my backup water tablets in case I get a water filter failure. And then I've got uh, my toothbrush toothpaste kit. I've got my Victorinox um, Classic XD or SD knife. Um, this is my chapstick, just a little mini chapstick with SPF 15. And that's it. And then last at the bottom, is um, this is just a Mount Laurel design uh, dry bag and I've got my 20 degree under quilt and my 50 degree top quilt and I'm doing that combination because the temperature is going to be right around 50 degrees um, maybe 45 some nights so with the 20 degree under quilt and the chameleon with top cover I usually get temperatures 5 to 10 degrees warmer inside my hammock than outside air. So I can go with the 50 degree top quilt because um, it'll probably be 55 um, plus degrees inside my hammock. So I'll go a little bit lighter weight and then that's just in, uh, in a dry bag. And then I've got a brand new um, Malifoom uh, pack liner uh, for the new season. Um, I finally retired the old one that I've been using for the last two years. So uh, brand new Malifoom um, pack liner and that's it. So if you liked the video so far, uh, enjoyed it, uh, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Um, thanks so much for watching and uh, keep an eye out for the Great Smoky Mountain uh, full um, feature. Once I get back, I'm gonna edit all the video and, uh, and put out just kind of a summary of our trip. So keep an eye out for that. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, be well.